Hello, students. I am Sharma, the faculty of management department. Today, I'm going to discuss a very important topic that is about, uh, say, uh, the marketing, segmentation, targeting, and positioning. So let's begin with our topic. Uh, the first and foremost thing you must understand what exactly segmentation, targeting, and positioning mean. The segmentation, it's something which means that uh, there is a market which is not uh, singular and uh, there are many differences which we need to address. Segmentation is a process through which we identify the market which are not very uh, uh, common and have some uh, you know, different and unique aspects. Then we have to move towards targeting. Targeting is actually a process of identifying your customers. Like uh, out of a big market, you just segmentize your market and uh, then you identify that to whom you are going to approach as a, your customer. That is very important. And uh, another important aspect is positioning that like in a market, there are so many products which is, uh, you know, uh, you can see, you can find. But out of these, all these products, not all products are very useful. And not all product have, uh, you know, the similar kind of uh, the position. So positioning is basically a very feature to create a unique position in the mind of a customer. As far as uh, the deficient, I would like to say, uh, dividing a market into distinct group with the distinct need might require a separate product or marketing mix. Look, uh, based on uh, various features we can say that market is not a common feature uh, based on geography demography and so many other features market can be divided and each different and unique need or characteristics or behavior uh, shown by the market uh, towards product and services that create a kind of market segmentation to understand the marketing segmentation more properly, we can say that uh, the segmentation is basically a point for discussing uh, the mass market. Many critics point to the increasing uh, the you know the splinter of the market, which makes mass marketing difficult. A market consists of various group of consumers who share similar set of needs and needs. segmentation and sectors are different. let's uh, try to understand these points one by one that how these things work uh, uh, for example if we say that uh, market uh, uh, we approach market not for a singular form but as many as different variations we can create and uh, in every variations, we create uh, a you know marketing which address a mass. You know, mass means a big bunch of uh, customers or big group of customers uh, who share a similar kind of needs and wants, and it identify and differentiate these sectors. Then, uh, uh, in this graph, you can see uh, like uh, the customer cannot serve all customers in the market. A company cannot serve all the customers in the market. So the customers are too, you know, uh, different number and, dis, uh, you know, dispersed and varied in their buying requirement. The heart of modern strategy in marketing is STP. Segmentation, targeting, and positioning. Uh, Market shares a very different 
and uh, we have to identify what kind of actual market we are going to address what kind of features will kind of be i want the share so uh, in similar way uh, in terms of consumer we can say that uh, geography demography psychography uh, are some of the reasons and uh, you know uh, the way we we can uh, identify our customers geographical is basically uh, dividing the market on the basis of geography geography means uh, regions capital rules and uh, urban areas semi urban areas so it uh, geography is basically characteristics of land whereas uh, if we talk about the demography demography is basically a characteristics of population population characteristics uh, which means that how big a family is what are their income uh, what kind of you know education they have religion based so this actually works for the segmentation of consumer market on a basis of demography and as psychographic uh, we can say that the psychography is basically uh, the mentality for example a lifestyle and the personality they have and the behavioral segmentations are actually that buyers are divided into groups on the basis of their knowledge attitude use or response to a product occasion benefits and uh, various user status users rate loyalty status buyer readiness stages attitude etc etc uh, if we say talk about uh, the basis for segmentation market industry uh, there are some of the reasons through which we can uh, segmentize our industries uh, demography in that which means uh, industry company size locations and we have a operating uh, variables like technology user non users customer capabilities and uh, based upon the purchasing uh, approach we can say that the power structure and in criteria also is there uh, say that targeting is another thing you have a market on the basis of few features and then you identify that what the firm has identified this market segmentation opportunity it has to decide how many and which one to target to be useful market segmentation must be really orientated measurable sustainable specific differentiable actionable etc etc uh, evaluating and selecting the market segmentation is very important point uh there we have to see the overall attractiveness of the segment and the company's objective and resources patterns and uh, of target market segment this is like single segment consultation which means uh, which particular product or segmentation you want to specify uh, if we have a selective perception um, you can see that for a different market we have a different approach and different selection perspective uh in every thing we can go like the product specialization has covered all the market or the market which is covered for a singular uh, product so these all are the different different types and product features which we uh, you know understand another thing uh, which we can say that uh, one market has all the types of product or the one product has all the markets or every market has a different product or there is a one product for one market and rest of the market are not covered uh, so we must understand the pattern of various market uh, understanding uh, differential uh, market or differential market is very important undifferentiated market uh, is is a marketing that uh, differences and goes after the whole whole market of differential market the firm operate in several market segmentation and designed different product for each segment positioning is the act of designing the company on to face in the mind of the target market customer focus value opposition and the term was populated by the all rise and jet crowd 
positioning strategies, uh, product user strategies, there is an attempt to associate the product with users. Uh, there, like, you know, companies are working to ensure that uh, So, uh, the companies and the consumers, everybody is working to satisfy their needs and wants and the objectives they can have. Then we have a positioning strategies. Product user strategy, there is an attempt to associate the product with users, price and quality strategies. Then there are competition strategies, product benefit strategies. So you know, these things are really very important and they play a very uh, important role in the market. Then we have segment uh, segmenting consumer market, geographical segmentation, yeah, demographic segmentation, the most popular segmentation uh, is psychographic segmentation, lifestyle, social class, and uh, personality-based segmentation, the behavioral segmentation. So segmentation is in itself is a very important point. You are not actually driven by the society, but you actually uh, care for it. Then geographic segmentation, which means work, uh, uh, and uh, the state, uh, the countries, cities, uh, they all have their unique identification and services upon which we identify them. Then, uh, say, based upon demography, age, gender, family, life cycle, income, etc., they all are very important roles. Uh, behavioral segmentation is also very important because it identifies various uh, user states, attitude towards the product, uh, user uh, loyalty and uh, readiness stages, etc. etc. Uh, again, if we are talking about the target marketing, that means that uh, it consists a set of buyers who share common needs or characteristics that the company decided to serve. Uh, Targeting is also about uh, under, uh, you know, undifferentiated mass marketing, differentiated in targeting marketing, uh, concentrated in niche marketing and micro marketing, local or individual level. So this is all from my side, students. Hope it will help you to understand uh, the basics of SDP. Thank you very much.